Hey, this is the great legend, and I am coming at you live. Got the allergies, but I'm here on Comic Book Saturday, trying to get my camera centered up. Is that good? More that way? No. How about like that? Is that right? Anyway, I feel like I'm not centered here. No, I guess I get this kind of in the way, so I move it this way. There we go. But this is the great legend. I'm coming at you live with Comic Book Saturday. For January 25th, 2014. I hope this is live. I hope it's looking good for everyone out there. We'll check the comments here in a minute. Um, last night, tons of technical difficulties on the Google Plus Hangout. Um, just was not working whatsoever. I went back in later in the night, around 11 or midnight, to try to cancel out the live show because it was like this never-ending thing, and it kept saying, you know, it was waiting for a stream, so at that point I used my Wirecast uh, program and I got, <laughs> it forced me to do a 720p hangout, which my upload sucks, so that didn't really work out that well. And uh, Hippie, Tom was watching it, Hippie's Collectibles was actually watching it, and of course it was really pausing a lot and screwing up, so that wasn't too good. But we're live right now, everything's looking good, we're going to check the comments real quick. <laughs> Uh, so glad you all are here tonight. I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Thuggy One, who is always one of the first to watch, one of the first to view, one of the first to comment. <laughs> he cracks me up because he uh, he loves them long countdowns. And today he said ten hours. Now that is a countdown because you know I started, I put the event up pretty early today, so wanted to make sure it was all good. All right, let's see what this looks like. I'm going to make sure my comments are good. Make sure they're live and coming up good, and they are, so that's awesome. We also have Rebel Gator. Rebel Gator was really fun. He was also in there. He he was in at the seven-hour countdown. And um, BSC, thank you for watching tonight. Rom's Comics, thanks for watching. My brother overseas, Stephen McKee, it's always good having you here watching. And uh, they had the YCC hangout today where uh, Matt on Comics was showing off Rock Study and Bebop. And I don't know if those were like reissues or, you know, they have been doing those where they're like reissuing them. Um, pretty much the same machines that made the ones in the early 90s. They use the machines and make the molds and stuff. So freaking cool. He showed those off today. I had to watch it muted because I was, uh, wasn't was able to get the audio working. Michael Moore is here. How, hey, Michael, how are you doing today? Carlos Infante, another great, excellent person here tonight. We also have uh, Mr. Perfect Flash. He loves some Mylar. Cosmo Bosco 71 is here as well. And um, Rebel Gator says he's new. <laughs> so everyone, make a Rebel Gator, make him welcome um, here in the comic book community. And um, he's a new YouTuber. He doesn't have any videos yet, but hopefully that'll change in the future. And Rebel Gator, we're glad you're here. And hopefully you stick around a while and put up some videos for yourself. Because that will be pretty cool. Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started. What was cool last night was just a cluster of a, of a time. But uh, what was cool, I actually got my comics today in the mail. So I get to show you my new comics. I'm about a week behind in my uh, comic book reading. But that's okay because... Uh, we had a trash can here. Anyway, uh, what's great about it is I've always got something to read. I've, I've been taking, uh, occasionally I'll take some comic books to work to read, which has been really good, and I've, I'm going to show you some of the ones I took uh, this past week. But first I'm going to show you some um, of my variant covers and some of the books that I got later that I didn't intend on having on the pool, but I did get anyway. First I want to have a Quick shout out to my buddy Roger69501, the Puerto Rican passion, for getting me on this title. I have not read issue one, but I did go ahead and get issue two as well. Justice League 3000. I've heard a lot of great things about Justice League 3000. Pretty much, if you don't know about this, um, the year is 3000. The world's going to hell. Everyone's, you know, it's evil, destruction, and um, Earth needs someone for, Earth needs some protection. So, they clone or get DNA from the original Justice League and they put them together and try to make a team out of them. 
of course, none of them get along, and that makes for a kick-ass story. <laughs> so Justice League 3000 by Keith Gith Giffen. J.M.D. Matias is in there with Howard Porter as well. Um, this is a good book, though, like good artwork, good story. I heard it's really funny, and a lot of people like this. Two ninety nine book, can't go wrong. There's something else I was going to say about this book. Like I said, I haven't read issue one, but I'll be reading both of these together. Um, I'll just put this down here real quick. Next up, i got a couple more Scribblemots uh, Unmasked Variants. I have Justice League of America number 11. These aren't in Mylar yet. But if you know the uh, cover homage to this, let me know. Uh, it's just some classic cover where Aquaman, uh, Green Lantern, Flash, Wonder Woman, and uh, Martian Manhunter is fighting some big star alien. Starfish looking alien. It's called Starro the Conqueror. So let me know if you know what cover and um, issue that's from. Um, but, you know, I love these Scribblenauts covers. Normally I've only been getting the covers that I have the series with. Like I do pick up Justice League of America. I pick up Nightwing. Nightwing 27 Scribblenauts uh, uh, cover here. And what I'm, I'm kind of saddened because I found out uh, Nightwing is going to end with issue 30. And no one really knows what's going to happen. But on the cover, his mask is on this um, cover with blood everywhere. So people think maybe he's either going to turn to a bad guy with um, Owlman from the Crimes, Crime Syndicate. Or he's just going to die because Dan Didio has been wanting to kill Nightwing for a while. Ever since, I think, the Crisis on Infinite Earth or whatever. That's what I hear. This is a really cool one. Superman Wonder Woman. Um... I haven't read this comic, or issue four, but this comic is on my current pile that's by my bed. I have piles that I read the comics in, the current read. Some comics just go in the boxes that I'll read at a future date. Holy shit, we got 16 viewers. <laughs> Thank you so much. Damn, I'm going to have to check the comments uh, and welcome some of you all after I get these variants shown. But this, of course, is Jim Lee. I think it was issue 13 or maybe issue 12. I don't remember, but... Jim Lee had that kick-ass cover where uh, Wonder Woman had Superman tied up with the Lasso of Truth and they were kissing on it. Damn! Because they're in love in the New 52. Superman and Wonder Woman right now are in love. Ain't no Lois Lane up in here. Last variant I got. This is a 1 in 75 variant. I don't think I paid very much for this. It's a 9.0 copy of it. But it's uh, Fantastic Four issue 16. The normal cover is... Um, or the normal comic is one I haven't read yet. This is the final issue of uh, Fantastic Four Volume 4 before they reboot it in, um, I guess, next month, actually. Yeah, February. So I'm eager to uh, get into that, James Robinson's uh, Fantastic Four. So there's the variant there uh, for Fantastic Four, and I need to read the uh, copy I have. You know, once I read the, the books... Um, the, I'll usually talk about those at the beginning of my live shows on a Friday or Saturday, whichever is uh, which, or whichever I can do a good live show on. Really love that cover there. And I suppose... Oh, damn, I'm losing my names, forgetting my names. It is Matt Fraction, I think. I think that's Fraction's... I think he wrote this one. Well, I think he's been writing all of the Fantastic Fours. But, um, yeah, Matt Fraction. I always want to say Bagley because Bagley does some kick-ass art, and his name starts with an N. It's Mark or Matt. Mark Bagley, I think. Anyway, sometimes I just get confused reading my own shit. 17 viewers, welcome to the Great Legend Show, comic book Saturday. That was that. This is this. So let's check out the comments. Here we go. Comments are great. They're all coming up live, just how I love it. Uh, Justice League America... Um, Thuggy, that's a riff on the first JSA appearance. Okay. So I'm definitely going to look at that. I, I've seen that cover somewhere. I just didn't know what it was from. And, of course, oh, Justice Society of America. Okay, I get you. All right, so we got a lot more people in here. Um, we have Kingpin, PKR316. It's great seeing you here, Kingpin. Steven's still chatting in there. Rom's Comics still there. Count Campbell. Hey, Count Campbell, good to see you here coming at me live. If you want to see some good um, comic book community hauls, back issues, and trades, check out Count Campbell. I'm, I'm already subscribed, so check him out. Um, Ordy Box. What's up, Ordy Box? Check out Ordy Box. He is a um, new school to the tube. 
he's a good Wolverine and X Man fan. Um, he's been collecting comic books for a long time, but he decided to create his own channel to show like minded people what he collects. So yeah, dude, subscribe to you right now. All right, Will Sullivan. It's good to see you, Will Sullivan. And Thuggy One, the main man Vince. Let me tell you a little bit about Thuggy One because I want to get into some shout outs. I, I, I'm shouting everybody out here, but I want to go into it a little more detail on Vince Thuggy One. Really great guy from Florida. Great oranges in Florida. <laughs> but no, um, Thuggy One, like, okay, he has comic book videos and stuff. He also does some stuff where he'll uh, take comics and he'll put some music with them and, like, show it. I mean, it takes a lot of time for him to do that. But he creates some pretty cool ass stuff, and it kind of reminds me of some old school animation where it covers or it takes images, still images, that he'll pan and, and, and do music with them. But one thing that's really cool about his channel is he has tons of action figures hanging up on the wall. And the one I remember vividly, well, I remember the Simpsons one. That was insane. He had, like, every freaking Simpsons character that came out back in the day. <laughs> but he had the Swamp Thing figures from the Swamp Thing cartoon show. And I remember I had that original Swamp Thing figure where it was his right hand had the um, hand that, that came off and it was it had a rope attached and it came back in and so you can pull him pull him from his hand and then let go of him and he would go up and climb. Oh, it was so, so cool. I also had the Swamp Thing little playset too, which was cool because you can uh, put him on an elevator and you can push him up through the top of that foam, aka the Dagobah foam. Remember, right? Am I right? The Dagobah foam from the old school uh, Dagobah playset that I used to have in the eighties. But uh, that's Star Wars, by the way, for some of you young guns. Some, some of you young whippersnappers out there. Anyways, you push Swamp Thing up through this cool green phone, and it looked like he was coming out of the swamp. So it's pretty damn cool. Nathan Banks is here. If you ever want to do reviews, or um, he kind of reminds me to an extent. He's, he's not as good looking. He's good looking, but he's not as good looking as Comic Uno. But he does a lot of topic videos, and he also does a lot of uh, video reviews over TV shows and just a lot of cool ass stuff and and uh, Nathan's just a pleasure to listen to when he talks he's he's a he's a young guy I want to say but he's full of knowledge and he loves the incredible Hulk so definitely check out Nathan Banks as well um, yeah Rebel Gator likes that because you know Rebel Gator gotta be from Florida Florida Gators for life Count Campbell everyone sub up Count Campbell get these guys some more subs out here these this is what it's all about. I mean, with the exception of Thuggy, because me and Thuggy are, are like old school. But this is the future of the comic book community. When when I'm dead and gone, and my history has been written, <laughs> we're going to be chatting and, and chatting about Carlos Infante, Nathan Banks, Count Campbell, Rebel Gator, Will Sullivan. Stephen McKee, Kingpin PKR three one six, Cosmo Bosco, Michael Moore, Flashes. Mr. Perfect Flash, all those guys, BSC. We ain't going to be talking about them has-beens like uh, Great Legend or Howler Mouse or Hippies Collectibles. We ain't talking about them people. We're going to be talking about all these other people because we just old school. <laughs> yeah, it was Snare Arm Swamp Thing. Thuggy, I knew you had it. All right, hell, I, gotta, I could just spend all night chatting with y'all. That'd be cool as shit if they had like 20 people, 30 people in a hangout and we just all get in there. Of course, that'd be kind of a cluster. All right, let me get back to my uh, hangout window, make sure this thing's still playing. Um, like I said, I'm a, I'm about a week behind. Um, you know, I may have books from like two weeks ago. I'm not really quite sure. I, I have, um, there's an issue of, um, trying to think of some just good issues. Fantastic Four 16, I haven't read that. Superman Wonder Woman number four, I haven't read that, but I don't know if that was on my pool or not. Um, but I have a copy of that back there. I have the variant right here. Um, pretty caught up on all my Marvel. You know, I, I usually try to stay caught up on that. Um, but there's some stuff I just haven't read. I'm going to go ahead and show you the stuff that I have read um, last week. Last week and a little of this week. Um, not in any particular order, but just really great books. We got letter 44 by Oni Press. This is number three. This is just a great story. And, and when I read this story, I'm sucked into it. I mean, it's that good. I, I 
I'm just kind of sucked into it. You got if you don't know what it's about, it's about the 44th letter that the 43rd. I guess is it the 43rd president writes the 44th letter, or is it? I don't know. <laughs> the president of the United States before the president got elected writes him a letter and tells him some important stuff, like how there's some sort of aliens in space and. He's got a team of astronauts and scientists up there trying to <laughs> communicate with them. But we find out one of those astronauts is pregnant. There's only two women on the ship. A lot of guys are horny. They want some action. That's <laughs> kind of just funny. And uh, one of the ladies is pregnant. But it's my thought that this is a one-way mission and they're not coming back. Or so it seems, uh, if I'm reading this whole story correctly. So... Very good story, even a good little uh, love making scene in there. So mature readers only, I hope. So yeah, that's a uh, Charles Soule. Good writing there, Oni Press. I like Oni Press. I'm a huge fan of a uh, Six Gun. I like the Mysterious Strangers. I loved Helheim. Um, there's a lot of good stuff coming out of Oni Press. So if you never heard of them, at least try to get Helheim in trade. Read some of the Six Gun. Um, good stuff. Next up, I started reading current Green Lantern. I'm Working my way backwards in the Jeff Johns run of Volume 4, I call this Volume 5 because Volume 1 I consider to be the Alan Scott run. Volume 2 is your showcase 22 and up. And then Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, you got Volume 3 of the 80s. And Volume 4 of the Jeff Johns run, which is the one that I'm really reading. That's the one I enjoy. I enjoy the Jeff Johns stuff. But this is the Green Lantern issue 27. This is a pretty good issue. Kind of continued where they went off. Uh, I think it was Planet O is totally destroyed now or used up of its power. The Guardians are gone. Um, How Jordan leads the core. And they're on this um, kind of like a talking planet that's getting the power that, that gives them the green power. I can't remember the name of it. But they're uh, transporting some prisoners, and the prisoners have this breakout thing. One guy clones himself or makes himself look like How Jordan gives some evil messages to everyone and fools everyone. So. Green Lantern, still just a kick-ass book, really enjoying it. Um, out of all the Lantern books currently on the pull, I pull Green Lantern and I pull Larflees, which is our or Agent Orange Lantern. Um, I love the Larflees book. I love Hal Jordan, so I pick up those two. And then in April, I believe, is when the Sinestro book's coming out, so I'm definitely picking up the Sinestro book. Um, no... no um, ill will towards the New Guardians or the, the Green Lantern core book. Um, I just have so many books and I'd just rather pick up Hal Jordan because he's my favorite. I do like Jon Stewart a lot too but uh, Hal's my favorite and the Guy Gardner and I think Supergirl now is in the Red Lantern so the Rage Lanterns are got a good story going. Next up, like I said, not any in any particular order, the Boom Studios this is Sons of Anarchy Good Tig heavy book, but um, this storyline is so damn good. Um, Tig is protecting one of his old friend's daughters, um, who were who was a gal that was working in the uh, porn industry, and her old manager was using children or underage uh, kids, so that wasn't right. So she ran away with the kids, hit them off, and now everyone that's bad is looking for this girl that Tig and the um, SOA is trying to protect. And at the same time, we have Clay here, Clay Morrow just getting into shit, you know, fucking up the plan and working both sides to his advantage. Um, that's the photo uh, realistic cover right there. I collect all those. Me and my buddy, the Mr. Fix It Smash goes, I think it's three on top, three on bottom, and you'll have like a nice picture. And you can currently see this picture, I think, off of um, AMC's website. Or is it FX? I can't remember what I don't even remember what channel Sons of Anarchy plays on, but it's a damn good show. Uh, my wife kind of like put it low on the DVR so it actually deleted a shitload of them so I'm going to have to wait for the uh, season to come out on Netflix but Sons of Anarchy comic and Ben, Mr. Fix-It Smash, he said it was so good he informed me that it's going to continue so that's really good so they'll have another story once this is completed so that is really awesome so pumped up for that because like um, Letter 44 Sons of Anarchy is just good and if you're a fan of the show you'll be a fan of the comic so I want to say hey to the other two viewers that have joined. A little 17 viewer action. Um, still moving right along. Sex Criminals number four, just another great book. Um, it's kind of slowing to a halt. Now you're, we're seeing a lot of the 
past that led up to where our two um, superstars are now. It's the girl and the guy that can stop si stop time when they have sex. So it's a very good book. The artwork is great. There's a shitload of ton of panels. So you get a lot of good reading out of it. It's one of the more longer books, but uh, graphics are... Or, pfft, graphics. This fucking video game is awesome. No, but um, <laughs> the artwork's really great. I encourage you to pick this up. Um, I really like this book. It's it's intriguing. It's it's kind of a cool storyline that you got a little sci-fi thing going on when they have sex, they can stop time. And of course, what's funny, they uh, are trying to rob different banks to make money because the library where the female works at is about to close down. So that's kind of interesting. It's kind of got a little bit of Robin Hood uh, mix up in it. You know, rob from the rich, give to the poor that that needs it. So you know, keep the library alive. I know what. That's all about because I work in a library. So, if you can keep the library going by having sex, stealing banks, that's a good life. That's a really damn good life. Okay, so here we go. We got Swamp Thing escaped from the Green Charles Soul, just selling it all, sold, selling his soul to comic book publications everywhere. Kick ass book. Um, book had not skipped a beat. You know, Scott Snyder had a nice run on it. Now it's Charles Soule's turn, and he's doing a kick-ass, phenomenal job. Um, Alec Holland escaped the green from, um, and the green that he was in was kind of like a heavenly green where the past, um, God, what is it? Avatars, yeah. The past avatars of the green go. It's kind of like they're heaven, but he had unfinished business to do, and he doesn't want that cedar doing any of the business because he knows cedar's a bad guy. Cedar's only going to do what Cedar cares about. He don't give a shit about no one else. Next up, Star Wars. You can't keep a good comic book down. Now, Dark Horse, we all know um, their agreement is going to run out, and then Disney is going to have the rights, the comic book rights, which they will, of course, give to Marvel, which is their little company, you know, because Disney owns Marvel. So we'll have Star Wars books coming out by Marvel again, which hadn't been done in a long-ass time. I think... Marvel did the first Star Wars comic books uh, during the original movies of the episode 4, 5, and 6. This is a great issue. This issue's uh, Darth Vader, a very Imperial heavy. And we get to see this gal that's a uh, officer for the Imperials or the Empire. And she kind of becomes Darth Vader's chauffeur. And, uh, you know, he's kind of like telling her what to do. And she's scared of him because it's Darth Vader. And she's already seen him, like, choke people out at the table, you know, the circular table. Some dumbass bastard always runs his mouth. Vader puts the grip on. Greater all, uh, Vader also uh, did that force motion, you know, where he had the grip. And he's like, wow, and he slammed this fool's head in the table. So, two things: when you're messing with Dark Vader, Vader, don't sit around some fucking round table and don't run your mouth, and you're gonna be just fine. So that's Star Wars. Very good shit. Brian Wood doing that one. And then here's the four I took to work. And I didn't have these on me last night when I had the uh, screwed up live show. But I want to go over these real quick. Um, I started reading Green Arrow after the zero year tie in. And then it went ahead and got in on into uh, issue 26 where he went back to the island with this girl. Um, I don't remember her name, but she's led him back to the island because she, I don't even remember what the hell they're trying to do. But anyways, She's trying to make him relive some past, and there's some mysteries on the island that she thinks he needs to figure out. Uh, the first one, they're, they're doing all these clan names. Like, this is the S.H.I.E.L.D. clan. I think the last one was the, um, I want to say Spear clan or something, but I don't really remember because all these clans are just, it's insane. I know they're going to be an Axe clan coming up. Um, in Katana that was written by Ann Nocenti a while back, she had the Dagger Clan and Sword Clan. And what I loved about this issue, it even went to um, San Francisco and Japantown. We got to see Katana. And I think Katana's going to make her way more into this whole storyline with all these clans. And to the end of this issue, he fought um, the Shield Clan quite a bit. And he actually came face to face with his father. Spoilers. So if you haven't read this, you're screwed. Anyway, his father's alive. The girl that's running with him, she's been telling him the whole time that you weren't, you know, this was no mistake you crash landing on the island, you know what I mean? This was all set in motion by your dad for a higher purpose. 
So this shit's getting good. I mean, um, the three issues I've read, and I have all the back issues, but I haven't read them yet. But this Jeff Lemire, man, he could write some good Green Arrow. Okay, next up, very surprised in this book, Forever Evil Arkham War. Um, I thought this book was just so-so on its way, but once this thing hit issue four and uh, Bane finally got his talent, man, this has, got, this has turned to be a really damn good book. I was saying before, I was enjoying uh, Rogue's Rebellion, which I have the latest one of that to read, but um, I've been enjoying the hell out of Rogue's Rebellion and even uh, Forever Evil Argus, but once I read this issue, I was like, oh, shit, I'm back into this. Now, keep in mind, after they go through issue five and six of this, there is going to be a uh, Forever Equal Arkham War kind of uh, prologue. I guess that's what you call it. It's going to be Forever Evil Arkham War. I think it's called Batman versus Bane because Bane's trying to be the savior of Gotham. So when it's all said and done, be sure if you're collecting that, go ahead and pick up that prologue as well. Um, another one, Batman Black and White, just continues to kick ass. I think the last issue comes out next month. A lot of good stories in there. There's the classic story where one guy gets away, goes to the bar, he's telling all his friends about how the bat was chasing him, and at the very end, it doesn't really tell you anything, but I think the bartender was Bruce Wayne, and, and he just has a grin to it because this guy spilled all of his guts. Another one was a, um, a hobo guy does a crime for his dad, and Bruce Wayne kind of, you know, bells him out, and you know, gives him a job at the little, uh, you know, we, we have one called Samaritan Inn around here where it's kind of a place where people go that don't have jobs and stuff. And um, and that one, I think, was written by Jimmy Palmiotti because Palmiotti had the last story in here, which was really good. And we all know Palmiotti is the hardest working guy in comics, all the stuff he does for the comic book world and community. Well, he does stuff for me. I mean, he puts out some good books. I mean, who doesn't read All-Star Western? In the Harley Quinn book. Everybody reads those. Next up, Batman Superman. 16 by 9 edition. Kick-ass art. Greg Pack writing. Brett Booth and old um, Ratman here on the cover. Fucking awesome. I love it. Um, not a lot of people liked this storyline. This is your classic virtual reality video game storyline that Mongo put together. This storyline ends where the people that control Batman and Superman. They actually come together, they uh, save the day, they make Batman and Superman work together as a team to uh, fend off and fight Mongol. And at the end, Superman puts Mongol into the Phantom Zone. So, um, I think the next um, solicitations coming up have Jay Lee back on the artwork, so I'm really eager for that. I've enjoy I enjoyed Batman Superman issues 1 through 4. Of course, it was a lot easier looking back because once issue three and four hit, that was when I was kind of like figuring, oh, okay, these are the young guys from New 52, or, you know, Earth Prime, Earth 1, whatever you want to call it. They going into the Earth 2, like, a little bit before Dark Spad comes and kills Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman of Earth 2. But when they're young, you know, the one with the Superman and blue jeans, the young Batman, they go over there and, you know, they try to, they get stuff that the trickster is saying that, um, and I think it's the trickster they're saying, one of y'all pairing is going to die. They don't tell which one, but that's what happens. But really just kick-ass issue. All right, good, good stuff. Right, I'm going to check the comments. I had a lot of books to tell y'all about. And then I've got another stack um, that, like I said, I'll t let you know what I thought about the reading. And then I'll show you the new books I got. And then I'm going to tell you a little bit about The Road to 2000. Um, I should have opened up with this. And I, maybe I, I would have kept a couple more viewers. But that's okay. The Road to 2000. I, I'm just going to tell you after I get done with this. Okay. But let me check the comments real quick. I'm just so excited to be here. It's been, it just seems like it's been a long time you know, since I've come at y'all live. Want to be a big old shout out to one of the best looking gals. Best looking ladies. Um... Her voice is magic. Her, her voice, she could be on radio like myself. I'm talking Miss Cammy, a.k.a. Reader1717, Batwoman's, no, Bat, yeah, Batwoman's biggest fan, Rita1717. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I haven't been looking at the comments. 
Oh, there it is. Steven's got it. For every evil, it's the aftermath. Batman versus Bane. Thank you, Steven. Steven McKee, everybody, from Scotland. Probably the hottest, best-looking man out of Scotland um, here in the YouTube comic book community. Michael Moore. Michael Moore. One of the best. Coming down, coming at us live from the YCC. Hell yeah. Michael Moore. For some reason, it's showing Michael Moore stuff as spam, so I'm clicking not spam. All right. Everyone's just having a good time. Oh my God, I got to get to the newest comments. Hey, whoa. Hold the phones, fans. I got a huge person here. One of my fucking favorites. Sorry, I'm getting a little violent. I wish I had a fucking... Here we go. Here we go. Two badass motherfuckers here. Bane and Talon. This this just going straight up. Because William Thorg is in the house. The number one guy in the community that loves the villains. And he wants the villains to whip that hero ass. William. All of this forever evil shit, man. Pick up anything you can find. The 3D villain covers, um, any of the Forever Evils, cause like the bad guys like Black Adam, Lex Luthor, um, Black Manta, Bane, all of them, it's like they're the good guys now. They're they're the guys whooping that ass. Man, you love this shit though. And William Ford may be the only guy in the comic book community that maybe wants Nightwing, Richard Grayson, Dick Grayson to die in Nightwing 30. I'm just so pumped William Thorg's here because William Thorg's kind of like one of those guys where like, like now you see him, like he teases you. Like he'll put out a video and then you won't see his ass for like months. But he's definitely one to check out. Check out William Thorg. You ain't going to get a better shout out from about William Thorg from the Great Legend Show because William Thorg is the man. He's the fucking man. I love William Thorg. William Thorg, boy, he going off on uh, – he. <laughs> I remember he made this video. Shit, he was going off on old Stan Lee. You fucking Stan Lee. It's like Stan Lee, you sign my fucking book. You look at me. <laughs> I'm the I'm the great legend. <laughs> I love it. All right, all right, that's good shit. I love it. Okay, uh, William, I'm glad you're here, man. Don't go nowhere. Comment again if, if you can. All right, that really fucking made my day. <laughs> Yeah, like a lot of people in the comic book community, like y'all, are, a, a lot of you are pretty new um, to the comic book community. But William Thorg, he's old school comic book community. I mean, he came out about it like a year, maybe a year and a half ago. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. He loves villains. I mean, the villains are kick ass. Like, uh, I love DC. I love Marvel. I, I like villains. I, I I like heroes and villains. But nothing's wrong with villains killing some people <laughs> or like uh, really hurting on the uh, on the heroes. I mean, Black Adam has really messed Shazam, Billy Batson up a lot. I like that shit. But um, here we go. Um, Devin's Comics. Devin, definitely get into that green arrow of the uh, anything that Jeff Lemire writes is very good. Oh my god, I got 19 viewers now. See? When William Thor... Oh, 21 viewers. I'm going to take a screenshot. Where's my phone at? Hold on. Stay, stay here. Don't go nowhere. 22 viewers. Hey, you know what I'm going to do right here? Oh, shit. Somebody left. Watch that be comic book mom. She probably left. <laughs> she don't want me to get a big head, but I'm going to get a big head. I'm going to photo. I'm going to send it. Oh, 23 viewers. 23 viewers. I'm going to get one for Audrey here. Some screenshots there. Let me show y'all this shit. Twenty. Okay, I got it on twenty-three. That was good enough. I want to send this to um... <laughs> Audrey. If you're watching, please say something. Call me an idiot. Whatever. Look at that. I'm gonna send that to a comic book. <laughs> All right. So check out the first family of comics. I'm just messing around, but I will send that to Audrey and a comic book mom. A first. Uh, the first woman in comics in the comic book community. Audrey, if you're watching, call me an idiot. 
or say, Rob, you're a dumbass. <laughs> but anything, so I know you're watching. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get into the comic books that I have. And then I'm going to tell you about my 2,000 subscriber contest, which the video will be out tomorrow at noon Central Standard Time, uh, 1 o'clock Eastern, uh, 11 o'clock Mountain, and 10 o'clock Pacific um, in the morning. This is the first book, um, and this is 22 point now, and I'm pretty sure I'm caught up on this, I think. Maybe I'm not. I don't think I am, actually. I think it was... Uh, X-23 and Jean Grey doing some fighting together. So I may be one down on that. This is all new X-Men 22 point now. This is the beginning of the trial of Jean Grey. And this is going to be a little storyline that's going to have alternating. So each month you read all new X-Men and then you read Guardians of the Galaxy. And it'll go on, I think, for three months or maybe in a month and a half. It all depends on if they double ship this stuff. So trial of Jean Grey between all new X-Men and Guardians of the Galaxy. And like I said, I'm starting with my Marvel books first. Captain America, just a damn good book by Reminder. I really dig that art on the cover there. That's pretty awesome. It looks like in the reflection, he's fighting some bad guys, and it looks like they're wearing green and yellow, so they're probably some AIM, AIM lackeys, you know. So that's Captain America um, 15. Really good series. Um, totally stoked for this, and I'll be reading this right after I read Fantastic Four 16. This is FF 16. This will be the... Uh, this is the FF finale issue, actually, and um, no solicits for FF in the future, so everyone's kind of breaking up, I think. So eager to see what happens there. You know, Medusa will be doing her Inhumans book. Um, She-Hulk, I think, is going to be joining a team. And Scott Lang and um, Darla Deerling, her old uh, Miss Thing, she'll be around longer. Um, that's my Marvel. Let me go to the Independence. This is Badass number one. Um, this is a big recommendation by the Mr. Fix-It Smash, um, Dynamite Entertainment. A lot of blood in here. <laughs> a real funny scene where this one lady slaps this kid with pimples. I thought that shit was funny. Um, Lone Ranger, another Dynamite book. Frank Avia cover, Lone Ranger 21. I'm really behind in my Lone Rangers, but if you like a kick-ass western, check out Lone Ranger. Number 10, like I said earlier, who doesn't love some sex? I mean, sex is uh, all around us. Male, female, um... Male, male, female, female, um, bi, tri, quad, whatever you need, whatever you like. It's all here. Um, so this has been a good book for me. It's a slow-moving book. The last issue was pretty cool because it showed Simon Cook in a flashback issue um, fighting his uh, rival, you know, back in the day when he was the, uh, what was he? He was like armored, armored or, so I came here, the, the armored saint. That's it, the armored saint. And we have the uh, double shipping of The Walking Dead, The All Out War. I'm, I'm so far behind in these, I haven't even read my compendiums yet. So still just collecting these. Got the two compendiums. And then I have 97 to 120 in singles. Now we get to the good stuff. DC Comics. We're going to run through these kind of quick because I want to tell you about the uh, contest I'll be having for tomorrow's video. And um, I got bad news for my people overseas, which kind of sucks. Um... But actually, you know what? Fuck it. I may go ahead and uh, if they are overseas, they'll have to take a secondary prize. They won't get to choose like the prizes that are uh, North America prizes. First up, Animal Man. I think this is either the last issue or the next to last issue. I'm going to hate to see Animal Man go. But Animal Man will be back in the Justice... Oh, it's supposed to be Justice League Canada, but they're calling the, the book something different. But um, that's going to be a kick-ass book, so I'll definitely be reading that. Animal Man 27. Fun book I love to read with my son, uh, a mini-legend, Jackson, but he always gets antsy, um, and he never sits still and he runs away. But Batman 66, issue 7, face-off with false face, and then there's a Joker, um, Joker's layoff riot. Uh, really good book. Well, it was funny. I kind of thumbed through the pages, and there was Richard Nixon in there. No, not Richard Nixon, my bad. Uh, Lyndon B. Johnson. So it kind of keeps with the times, you know. President of the 60s, you got Batman 66. Um, next up, I got to read this. I, I need to see what, how far, how many Batmans I'm far behind on. But this should be still doing the zero year. It didn't say zero year on here, but this is Batman 27, Snyder and Capullo. And I also got lucky and I was able to get the um, Snyder Capullo, uh, the Scribble Knots uh, variant which is cover homage to 1940's uh, Batman number 1, I think it was 1940. And very cool cover here. 
which is the homage to that original Batman uh, number one comic that featured uh, the Joker's first appearance and Catwoman's first appearance. Next up's the Batman team up book, Batman and Two Face, um, Tomasi and Gleason. Uh, lots uh, people sometimes don't like it since uh, Damian Wayne's no longer with us for the time being, anyway. But that's okay; he'll probably be back one of these days. But Batman and Two Face. A couple months, uh, maybe next month or down the line, they're gonna have Batman and Wonder Woman team up. So that'll be pretty cool. I've heard a lot of bad things about this issue. This is Justice League 27, Cyborg rebooted, uh, rebuilt, rebooted, Cyborg 2.0. I've heard bad stuff about this, but you know, you know, I love Justice League. I'm, I'm sure I'll love it. So, Forever Evil still going on strong. Little tie-in. I love when they fight the Blight. This is Let There Be Light. Green Lantern's might. Um, Trinity of <laughs> Trinity of Sin, Pandora. Let There Be Light. I have no clue what that's about. Uh, Looks like a lot of light is invading Pandora. I don't know if it could be uh, Dr. Light. Who knows? But I like that painted cover right there. Got Phantom Stranger, uh, Constantine, Nightmare Murder, Swamp Thing, and Pandora. Very cool. And the one I've been waiting for, I got Scribble Knots um, Unmask. Kick-ass game. I haven't got real far on it because I'm actually playing through my old Scribble Knots games. And, uh, but we got this one here in. It's um all age, but let me show my mile all right group there. It's all ages, I think, on this one. Rated E for everyone. Scribble knots unmasked, uh, number one. And it said, This time, what was it? We all break you. And I love how um Phantom Stranger has Maxwell and Maxwell's sister, I can't remember her name, but I love how he's floating in and has them. We've got Robin, Batman, Batgirl against some of these villains. We got Mad Hatter down there. Um, Two Face is down there. Um, Riddler, Scarecrow. You can't really see them because they're on the very bottom, but you know it's uh, Two Face because he's got that two hair color. Oh man, I got a little piece of dust in my comic book bag. You know I can't have none of that. But anyway, kick ass book. Really eager to get this and read this. And I love the little art of the uh, Scribble Knots guys there. Let me get that little piece of shit out of that bag. Because you know, one thing I can't stand is a little speck of dust. I guess I've got that shit called, and I do have it to an extent, fans. It's called obsessive compulsive disorder. Where sometimes, like, shit pisses me off, or, like, you know, something like, uh, you know, like how I say, I'll, if I order near mint, I want near mint. That didn't sound right, but if I order near mint comics, I want near mint and not near bent. You know what I'm saying? I want some good shit, you know, 9.4 and up. So that is, um, <laughs> I'm still laughing about Audrey. Yeah, Audrey, look at me. <laughs> I shouldn't be picking on Audrey because she's way smarter than I am. Puts out better videos than I do. Has more talent than me. Looks better. Her hair's better. Um, she's married to Craig. Who wouldn't want to be married to that sexy beast? Okay, so <laughs> TMI. Now let me get these in order. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about uh, my contest. My contest is going to be pretty epic. Um, and I'll film that contest video right when I'm done here. Okay. So, uh, Kyle. Ugh! One problem I'm, I'm still having is I'm still getting my room cleaned up and moving things and. I'm running out. Of, I think I'm, I'm going to be. I haven't packed all my fantastic boards at the top, but all of them are going to get moved to the corner. I've got room over there. I just have to get them moved. Um, but I have. I think I'm going to run out of room eventually in those boxes. Isn't that amazing? These are a lot. Or these are the short box of drawer boxes. So uh, after that, I guess I'll just have to get some more. <laughs> you know, put them some maybe on this side. I don't know. But uh, let me tell you a little bit about the. Um, Road to 2000. I know it sounds like a WWE video game or whatnot, but let's check the comments and uh, we'll do that. Okay. Haha! <laughs> BSC, that's right. The one time I jump on a, mar a modern Marvel book and FF doesn't even make an issue 20. I know it sucks. I, I really liked FF, but the way that series is going. 
And FF, I, the, the funny thing was, I enjoyed Fantastic Four and FF, but to tell you the truth, um, FF was the better book. I mean, it was funny. I enjoyed um, the kids in the story. It was just a better book. You know, I just loved it. I, and it sucks that it's kind of going away. I mean, I love that team. But I know, you know, Medusa's got bigger plans in the Inhuman storyline. So I, I totally get it. Um, what did that say? Return to news comments? Okay. Everyone's just waiting for me to talk about the road to 2000. Okay, okay. I was not... I wasn't going to do it, but I will open up, up this contest worldwide. And if I draw your name and you are from a country other than Puerto Rico, Mexico, um, United States, or Canada, if you're from one of those other countries, I'll have a specialty uh, pack of uh, comic books. Um, some keys will be in there, um, some older books, Silver Age, and they may not be in the best shape, but they're complete. Um, because I have a shitload of Fantastic Fours, doubles, triples. Um, I've given away a lot of Fantastic Fours. And I believe um, if it's new stuff, like new series, um, and I have lots, I'll sell those lots um, on eBay. I don't really sell a lot of comics, um, but if I do have like lots of something that I didn't really care for, I'll go ahead and sell them. But if it's like a single, like say a Silver Age, it's pretty beat up and it's well-loved, I'll just go ahead and give that one away. But if it's some stuff like this, like newer, near mint stuff, that's the stuff I usually sell. Uh, because on eBay, what if you run into some guy like the Great Legend and he has some creases and some bends and he says, I thought this was a very fine instead of a fine monet. You may have some anal bastard out there. So anyway, let me uh, talk, say that again because I'm kind of rambling. And if Audrey's watching this, she hates me rambling. And I always pick on Audrey, but uh, I just do it because it's fun and she's awesome. But um, by the way, sub up first family comics, youtube.com forward slash the comic book mom. Like I said, probably uh, probably one of the hardest working families on YouTube out of the content they do. Blind Bag Wednesdays is a new deal where there are three kiddos. Um, uh, <laughs> they're three kids. They're awesome. But you got to check these kids out. What is their names? Mia, CC, and the quiet guy in the middle. Damn. Their baby Iris, as cute as can be. CC, Mia, and uh, whatever the damn son's name is. He's a good kid, though. Um, first Family Comics. I mean, and they put out content, tons of content, reviews, hauls, movie reviews, toy reviews, um, the Blind Bag Wednesdays with the kiddos. Uh, just great, great, great folks. Um, check them out. Like I said, they have four kids. Mia, CC, Iris. Hey, what is their son's name? Does anyone in the comments know their son's name? Give me the son's name. Dut Rank says old school, and I have something special. I got a special shout out from my boy Dut Rank. Dut Rank, do you know uh, Craig's son's name? <laughs> Shit, that's going to uh, I'm, I'm, Y'all find that out. That's going to be one of the questions. What are those kids' names? First Family Comics. That's one of the questions. Give me the four children's names. You can give me a meal. Mia, CC, Iris. Damn, what's your name, boy? See, he never talks enough. Toby. That's his name. I'm pretty sure it's Toby. All right, those four. That's going to be one of the questions tomorrow. I'm gonna go, that's going to be one of those gimmies. Write those names down. Toby, Cece, Mia, and Iris. Write them down. That's one of the answers to the questions. What we're going to do tomorrow, the video is going to be released at 12 Central Standard Time. Um, so that's uh, 1 Eastern, 11 Mountain, 10 Pacific. Um, I'm going to have about five or six questions. I don't know how many exactly. Um, I'm going to ask you some questions primarily about the Great Legend Show and some of the videos on my channel. And if you've watched me long enough, you'll know some certain answers and you'll know some things. The first ten people that answer those questions correctly will send me 
a private message through YouTube. To do that, go to youtube.com forward slash rdowdy95. Click on the about link. Um, let me make sure I'm giving you that uh, correct info. Um, there'll be a there'll be an option in there to send me a private message. Um, yeah, it's called about. It's an, it's the link called about, and then you're want to you're gonna want to click on. Um, I don't even see it on here. Let's see what does the home button do. Well, of course I can't send myself a message, so let me click on Dutray. YouTube.com forward slash Dutray. Okay, there's an option to send a message. So um, I use Dutray there as an example. So what you want to do, send me the message. I'm going to take 10, 10, the first 10 people that answer all those questions correctly. Um, you'll go into the drawing. Now, first and foremost, there's going to be five prizes. One's going to be an Xbox prize. Xbox 360 prize package. There's going to be a comic book prize package. There's going to be a movie slash DVD slash VHS slash Blu-ray package. There's going to be a Skylanders package where you're going to get a couple some Skylanders. And number five, there's going to be a package for um, Legos. That's it. Legos. We're going to have a Lego package. So, um, it's going to be a, uh, you get to choose the prizes. Um, of course, if you're um, one of those folks like Stephen McKee or uh, Carlos, I think I can get you um, the same stuff, Carlos. Um, maybe not. I, I don't know. I'll have to check. But um, if anything, if, if I'll send you all a comic book prize package yourself. But there's going to be five winners but however if like I draw Stephen McKee and I say draw somebody like Matt on comics or I draw someone like um, BA comics or maybe uh, I don't know if BA comics will watch this or if I draw you know someone from England one of the Matt no one of the marks if I draw one of the marks they'll get comic books and then if I haven't given away say the Lego or the Xbox or any of that stuff um, yeah, and I'm just going to draw the names. I'm not going to let you pick the prize packages. I'm just going to draw the names, and I'll find out what you win. You know what I mean? It's just all going to be kind of random. And if I draw one of the names that is like uh, Stephen McKee or something, uh, and that's just even if people get the damn answers correct. You know, some people may not even know. But you'll see, um, and once I get all those people and I draw the names, that video, the drawing video, you'll see the actual prizes that you'll be getting, okay? And um, now if you're someone like Stephen Key or someone like that, I may not have all the comic books ready to go yet, but you'll get to see and you'll kind of get a gist of what you'll be getting. And what's cool about the comic books, I always like surprising people with comic books anyway. So fans, that's about what we have time for. Be on the lookout tomorrow. Um, put a little note, um, put your iPhones on, get the timer ready because... Um, We'll have five to six questions. The first ten people that private message me those answers to the questions will be the uh, ones entered in the drawing. Pick about five or six winners, and you get some cool ass shit. And uh, yeah, two thousand subs. I, I couldn't have done it without all of you. Special shout out right now to my main man Dut Rank. Dut Rank kind of founded me as a YouTube personality uh, and a YouTube celebrity because I used to do a lot of commentary on video games which I probably need to get back into but um, one of the best voices out there for commentary in the gaming uh, community and he you know thought so much of me he says dude you really ought to do your own videos you ought to make your own videos and all this kind of stuff so I uh, ran with it and uh, couldn't have even got any subscribers without him kind of leading the way and building the bridge out in front of me so I can cross the bridge in style. He's like the uh, the knight that throws the, his little jacket uh, to let me walk across on, to let the prince, the legend if you will, walk across that muddy puddle without getting dirty. So he's kind of that guy, just that fucking slave guy that threw the blanket down for me. Um, so yeah, check out Dunt Rank. Every Saturday night he has a live show. I couldn't be on it tonight because, you know, kids and stuff. He likes doing an early show. Um, so definitely check out Dunt Rank, youtube.com forward slash Dunt Rank.
We're going to check uh, the comments one last time. I want everyone to sub up everyone in the comments. Um, all of these folks are just awesome, excellent people. Another last shout out for William Thorg. It's great seeing you back in the community. We love for you to, to um, we love for you to bring out some more videos. You know, just talk about villains. Like, what's your favorite villains currently? Like, who do you hope kills? Who's all good? But fans, thanks so much for watching the Great Legend Show tonight. We topped out tonight at 23 live viewers. The proof is in the pudding. I got the picture. I'm going to send it to Audrey, comic book mom, and say there was 23 here. Where were you at? You could have been 24. You disappointed me tonight, Audrey, the comic book mom. But check her out anyway. First Family Comics there. The First Family Comics here on YouTube.com forward slash comic book mom. Like I said, thumb up everybody. Um, thumb up everybody that's um, in the comments. Go to their pages right now. Every single one of them is damn good in my book. This is the great legend. I oh, wait, wait, wait. One last thing. Like I said in my last, uh, the botched attempt last night, my hat is gone. Um, lost it in the front yard one night, taking my uh, mother in law home. She had broken her leg over the holidays. Lost my hat. Um, so I got to get a new hat, either a ball cap or another black beanie, because that's how the legend rolls with it. That's how I roll with it. This is the great legend saying peace out. God bless. And remember, tune in tomorrow. We're going to have that contest video up. It's going to be good. It may give you all about a week to get the answers in. And then, you know, the first 10 to get in, I'll go ahead and turn the video, take the video down, and it's all going from there. This is the great legend saying peace out. God bless. God bless. Not right. God bless. <laughs> Not the dude downstairs. Not no trigon bless. God bless up here. Phantom Stranger Train for life. Hoo hoo.